Okay, welcome back. Last time we finished off off of the entire well, we finished off the midday gardens world. There are a few things we'll have to come back for at a later time. However, we managed to beat that world and also oh, uh, we did die a couple of times, but we did manage to defeat Spike, the second boss. Us and arrive in the evening lake. And my first main thought here is that this is kind of interesting. Also, we are going to have a rocket to take us to the final area. But we'll be seeing more of that when we get to it. Also, I have so many dragon eggs now, I think I have access to every level just kind of naturally. But obviously, first things first, I want to go and get everything done here. Actually, I can double check and see if I have access to everything. Because uh, there shouldn't be anything here. So Charmed Ridge is here. Honey Speedway is there. And I think those are the two highest. Obviously, we will be coming back to here. Charmed Ridge will take a while, because it has one really annoying bit that I remember. So here, we also have... Uh, Lost Fleet is down here in this boat. And I want to I wanna get eaten by this whale. We want to get eaten by this whale, so we can get this egg. We've now rescued Jonah. Yes, that is a Bible joke in your Spyro of a Dragon game. And because in the Bible, that is the... There is Jonah, who is eaten by the whale. Um, I should note, um, I'm also not the most familiar with like all. I'm not familiar. I'm not the most familiar with all like uh, religious texts and everything. Uh, that I don't know if that's in the Torah or anything. So apologies if if it is, and I just misrepresented it. My apologies on that. We've also now rescued Stuby. Okay, so that is now dragon number 70. I think... I might... It'll be cutting it close. But I think we might be able... It'll be cutting it very close. But I might be able to actually go and challenge the sorceress as soon as I arrive in Midnight Mountain. Like... That's how many of the eggs we've gotten already. Like... You need a hundred to go and challenge the sorceress, and yeah, we m it's entirely possible I might be able to go and fight the last boss without doing any of the levels in the final world, which is a little bit weird to think about, not gonna lie. Now, I want to go up here, because this is where we can go and talk to Moneybags, and Man, I am so bad at this. How many times am I going to try this? Got it. There we go. So, Moneybags is up here. And this is will give us access to Bentley's Outpost. And also, I'll, I'll do this. This in just a moment. <laughs> the sorceress has a real prize on her hands here. It took two dozen Rhinox to capture this dim-witted furball. So, you'd better believe he's not going to get out cheap. Where are you getting all this money, Spyro? <laughs> it's not just lying around on the ground, is it? Uh, is it? It actually oh, is. Care. It's mine now. A duplicitous larcenous ursine. Ah, ah, the first rejuvenating breath of freedom. With the humility of a wounded sparrow, I genuflect to my noble deliverer. Uh, it was no big deal, dude. Yes. <clears throat> After all, it was I who let you out. Why, you brazenly avaricious, duplicitous, larcenous ursine! Now oh, hold on! <coughs> One more, perhaps? At least. <coughs> Please do afford me the sublime honor of enjoying your visitation in the nearest future. Yeah, sure. You know, I I never really thought about it until right now, but like, man, Spyro in this game, in this game Spyro sees all of the people he helps and he's just like, yeah, sure, whatever, and just think, and just seems to think they're all weirdos. 
Okay, so I'll be coming back to Bentley's outpost in just a bit, but I do want to do a couple more things first. Also, over here we have the fireworks factory, which I would say is easily the most iconic level in the game. I mean, obviously, it's the most iconic level in the game. It's literally the one on the title screen. Like, that's how important the fireworks factory is in Spyro 3. Like, it is the, it is the level they show you on the title screen. And I now actually need to get out of the water because I need to do a little bit of platforming. Uh, I need to do it. I need to get out closer to Frozen Altars, I think. Also, Lost Fleet is in this boat, and Frozen Altars is under this little pyramid here. But hey, we'll be coming back to Frozen Altars in just a little bit. I'm mostly doing it. I'm mostly doing Frozen Altars later. Oh, also, if we come up here, this is where the Sparks level is in this world. I remember this one being really tough. I think this one is... Uh, I think this one is the Star... Sh I think this one's the Starfish Reef. Yeah, because the first one is a Crawdad Farm. Um, the second one is Spider Town. And the third one is the, is the Starfish Reef. And then the fourth one is the Bugbot Factory. Spyro, this power-up can make you invincible, but only for a short while. Use it to get by these flame spitters. You'll find an egg when you get past them. Okay, thanks, Zoe. So, off we go. It doesn't last very long, but it lasts long enough to get you across. And now we've rescued Stuart. Who has a cool little hat! Nice hat, Stuart! Okay, let's just, uh, hop and fly on over. I don't know if I get anything if I torch all these frogs. I feel a little bit bad about it, but hey, what's done is done. Now let's just grab all these, and away we go. I thought for a second I hadn't picked one up. I hadn't picked one that up. Okay, if I'd missed that one, I would have been in quite a pickle, because I would have not known how to get to it. Well, I would have known how to get to it, but I would have not probably thought that it was there. And we have another egg here. We've now rescued Ted who also just has some cool glasses and seems to be very happy to be here. Uh, I think there's one egg left here. I think I've got five. Glide to the tower. And there's ten gems. So I assume they're all on that tower. So let's quickly uh, go over here and do this. So we'll, what I want to do is hop on over here, run, charge, jump, and fly on over. There isn't the ten gems there. So I need to go find them, but we've now rescued Hannah as well. So with that, I think we are at 74? 73, okay. Either way, we are nearly halfway through the game in terms of just the number of eggs. Because there's 151 total, I think. Now the question is, where is the where are these final 10 gems? Because I don't want to go into a level or anything until I have everything done in the home world but I don't want to miss anything I don't want to miss anything but I don't know where to find these last gems is it on the other side of the honey speedway it may well be it was on the other side of the honey speedway fantastic okay so now let's uh I need to be up here because I'm gonna go and do Bentley's outpost first so off we go to play as Bentley. When I was a kid, I always loved Bentley's level. This was one of my favorite ones in the entire game, to be totally honest. But hey, off we go, and now we get to meet our new Yeti friend. I will gladly help you on your quest, Spyro. But first, I must attend to my young sibling. I'm afraid he may have gotten himself into trouble during my absence. He's so well-spoken. Like, genuinely, for a yeti, he is so well-spoken. <laughs> so basically, he's a bit on the slow side, walking, and he doesn't jump very high. But he he can bash things and spin the club to uh, reflect. Hey, bro, it'd be really cool if you smash that boulder. A swift smack should do the trick. Okay, so this is Bartholomew. He, he is obviously Bentley's brother. Bam, we just destroy that. Unfortunately, uh... As is traditional when you just carry around a giant club, you can kind of just hit things. Unfortunately, some things do require multiple hits, but you know, 
Unlike uh, Sergeant Bird, who needed actual, like, high explosives to get rid of certain things. Uh, yeah, Bentley can just hit it once with the club. And therefore, I can hopefully get through this myself pretty quickly. I'm also going to try to be very careful so I don't miss anything, because if I miss something, it'll take... Because if I have to backtrack in this stage, it may take a little while. And I need, uh, Bartholomew to do a thing. You use your spin move to deflect the snowball into the gong. I bet we can make the roof cave in. This seems hilariously unsafe, but he isn't wrong. It's a fun little quick, easy, simple mechanic to learn. And I f Oh! That guy isn't frozen. That's a cave I'll come back to. I had forgotten about that. And now we rescue Brian. This is the second... I think this is the second Brian we've rescued. I guess one was with a Y, the other. I guess that one was with an I, I think, and that one was with an I, so... They are technically different, I suppose. It took me forever to train those seals to throw snowballs. Now they've gone and turned on me. I can't believe it. How could this have possibly happened? Oh well, it's... Well, the seal is no longer going to be a problem, Bartholomew. Don't you worry about it. Also, I would like to thank the game devs for not allowing the gems to just go off the side of the cliff. Because that would be bad if it could. Now, let's just wait for the seal. Oh, okay, this one actually moves. Oh, I need to line up for it. Okay. And... Okay, maybe I need to aim a bit. You know what? Maybe that's a play. Man, you can really stick with that for a while, huh? There we go, got it. Fantastic. I say fantastic, that took me a lot longer than it realistically should have. But hey, I think we're about halfway through the level now. We do have a little bit of a puzzle coming up where we have to push some blocks. But it's not that big of a deal. I mean, that seems even less safe. But go off, I guess. Also, I do like how it automatically lines you up for it. I, I love that little bit of game design. World's safest avalanche. Disclaimer, I do not know enough about avalanches to say if that was indeed the world's safest avalanche. But either way, also we can just destroy that in one. Fantastic. And now we can loop all the way back around to the start of the stage. Sorry, Hiker Reinhardt. And did one fall down? I think it did. Yeah. Okay. That's... I mean, I have to go all the way back now and I don't really have a quicker way to do it. So off we go. But yeah, so I think we're most of the way through this stage now. Oh, I think we've gotten one of the eggs. That'll come back at a later time. So we have to double back to here. And we, now we have to push these crates. A stinking Rhinoch has blocked the way with this box. It shouldn't be any problem for you to push it out of the way, though. I mean, he ain't wrong. Young Bartholomew is not wrong. I think there's a skill point if you push it off the cliff. 10 out of 10. There, there indeed was. And now we get another egg. So now we've rescued Charlie, who has some sick dance moves and some cool goggles. I guess he's just a funky little guy like that. And uh, we are now carrying nearly 3,000 gems. There's like 13,000 gems total in the game, I think. I might be wrong on that. That's so Actually, no, 13,000 doesn't sound right. I mean... It I'll be honest, I don't need to worry too much about it, because that is something that I won't need to think about very often, because honestly, I, well, if I pick up everything, I don't need to worry about it. You know, if I pick up every gem I see, I don't think I'm going to need to worry about how many there are. That words, I don't think I'm going to need to worry about how many there are if I just pick up every single one that I see. And hey, you know, sometimes you gotta accumulate all of that money. I mean, realistically, I know I have- I've, I'm pretty sure that at this point I have more than enough for everything else that money bags will, will want for the rest of the game. I can walk up and hit that one. I feel kind of bad now. Because the other ones, we just like hit a snowball back up. And that one actually just- With that one, we actually just walked up and hit it with a club. Like, that club made completely out of ice. 
And now we just uh, shove this one crate into a... Well, we shove this box into alignment. And young Bartholomew should be able to jump over. And then... And we should be good to go. I think this is the hardest bit of platforming in the entire level, to be honest. It's just one jump. And this is the only time you have to actually platform with Bentley. And we did it. Let's go. And this should be the last gems. And an Aerophone. And at the top of here. So we should be able to call this an episode. Well, not an episode. We should be able to clear out this level very comfortably. One, two, three, four. And that should be the last gems in the stage, hopefully. Last eleven. Thanks, bro. Here's a little something for your rock collection. Okay, now we have rescued Eric. And that I believe is dragon number 75, I think. Level complete. Done. And that was actually number 76, but hey. So, level complete, all gems and all eggs acquired. We do not need to return to Bentley's outpost ever again. It's a quick, very simple level, but it was always one that I was really fond of. And now we can just drop straight back into the water and head on over to Frozen Altars. One thing I will say that I do think is a little bit weird here is I distinctly remember this game. Maybe it's because I'm playing a different version of it. Welcome to Frozen Altars, Spyro. On behalf of the Ice Fairies, I want to grant you a special power for as long as you stay in our world. Okay, so basically for this level, we have Ice Breath instead of Fire. So we can now freeze things by breathing fire on them. So yeah, um, what was I going to say? I've lost my train of thought. I've lost my train of thought. I shouldn't have stopped myself. Uh, I remember this level can take a little while. Oh, let's talk to this guy. Some bear sold us a laser defense system to protect us from Rhinox. But with these flippers, I can't even turn it on. You'd have no trouble using it, though. Just walk inside. When you're done, press the triangle button and you'll walk back out. Man, Alex the Duck sounds cool. And... Yeah, so we can freeze things. Also, uh... Yeah, the fairies in this level... The fairy in this level is just... Well, I guess for this level, you just get Ice Breath, given to you by uh, Ice Zoe, basically. However, um, this is probably going to be one of the tougher levels for me, because there's one bit of really annoying... There's one really annoying little bit of platforming I need to do. Oh, also, this level has the most horrifying snowman I think I have ever seen. But we'll be seeing that in not very long, actually. Because it's actually just directly over from the next bit. Now, if I recall correctly, I need to platform and jump up to there. And that, w that is something that was an eternal pain for me. Because it was something I just could never do as a kid. I never knew how to do this bit properly. So for now, I'm going to leave it and I'll come back later on in the level. And also, uh... Eustace and I were having a snowman building competition when the sorceress brought them to life with a spell. Since then, they've been stomping around, building ice walls, and generally causing trouble. Okay, thanks, Ernest. Now, uh, I'm gonna quickly go close to it so you can actually see the most nightmarish snowman I think I've ever seen. Like, that is a scary snowman. And if you go too close to it, it will pursue you and just grab you, shake you, and throw you away. I don't think it actually does damage. No, I think it might have done. It might have done some damage there. But yeah. So, what we need to do is, uh, you know, set it on fire with a giant magnifying glass laser. And don't ask me why it popped like a balloon. It just did. Now, what I am going to do is I need to make this jump, and it might take me, like, 20 minutes. So I am going to make a pause. So I'll just make a pause, and I will just uh, edit it in, so when I eventually get to the... So, I'll be right back. So, uh, I just had a moment 
I realized I could actually just freeze this guy and jump across. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if that's how I did it the last time. I assume it must have been, but I feel really stupid right now for having never really thought about that previously. Anyway, I'm glad that that's done, because now all I need to do... Well, I'll need to come back up a couple of times, but hey, we'll, we'll manage. Because there's a couple of little bit more platforming sections here. That wasn't even a combination of actual words. No! Okay, back up we go. Sorry, I think that one was called Ernest. I think his name was Ernest. Sorry if I haven't to freeze you again, buddy, but hey, sometimes, for, sometimes we just gotta do these things. Now, off we go. Because now we just glide to here, dash, and just drop down and grab this egg. We've now rescued Cecil. Cecil? Cecil? I don't know how that's meant to be pronounced. I'll be honest, I'm pretty bad with pronunciations on names sometimes. Now, this thing's respawned, so I might as well just get Sparks back to full health. And that's a bonus life. Fantastic. Also, I need to act a bit quickly on this, because otherwise, he will, fall, he will fall back out. Not like it makes much difference, because we can just freeze him again. So let's just quickly uh, hop up back up again. I don't know why I'm getting the hiccups, but hey, I am. So that's not great. Now, let's just grab these three gems. Those three gems were the bane of my life for years. I never knew how to get them. And I don't know why, but I just never thought of just freezing the little duck. I never thought to freeze the little duck guy. And I feel really stupid for having never thought about it. But hey, now that we've done that, and also, you know, killed the awful nightmare creature snowman... Uh, now let's go on with the level and hopefully not die I want. To be honest, I'm, I'm doing pretty well for this entire game so far, uh, in terms of not dying. Like, I'm feeling pretty good about having not died very much in this game so far. And this is a tutorial. Easy to get up to that treasure if you had something to stand on. Yeah, thanks, Eustace. I feel kind of bad doing that, but hey. But hey, that's 35 gems, you know? That's money. And now I get to... Nope. Man, I get hit by these guys every single time. I feel like in every game, there's just like one basic stupid enemy that I always get hit by, and it's always just like the most basic one. Okay, you get frozen. Off you go. And now... Can I hit them? Oh, I can hit the little elephant guys with these. Never done that before. I think you can actually dodge this snowman. Actually, I'm going to try it. Because these, because that snowman will get back up. Like, he will kind of reform. Yeah, I'll be coming back for this, don't you worry. I think you can actually dodge around this snowman. It's a little bit precise, though, but I'm pretty sure you can. So I'm gonna give it one more. I'm gonna give it one more shot, and then I'll just leave it. You know what? Let's not. Let's not bother. Let's just kill this snowman. I feel kind of bad for those duck, for those little duck guys who did work so hard building them. But hey, they'd rather it be dead. They'd rather it not be a functioning snowman anymore than it be, you know, evil and trying to like strangle them anytime it does anything. Either way. Let's just keep going, because I, I'm just, like, I just realized how just weird and random that last sentence probably sounded without context. Also, I love, uh, I love enemies that just go as soon as you hit them. Like, like, they don't, they don't stall your mo, they don't stall your momentum or anything. It's just like, hey, you hit them, great, off you go. Bam. That, that one didn't drop anything, but whatever. Now, is there another ice block for me to melt? No, there doesn't appear to be, so I can only assume that that is there solely to get rid of those enemies if you haven't already. And this is the end of the level. Also, money bags is here to charge us to go into a hockey game. Thanks for helping out, Spiral. Why don't you take this? The Rhinox were trying to fry it with a laser, but you stopped them just in time. Okay, thanks, Eugene. And now we've rescued Janna. Janna? Janna? I don't know how to pronounce it. Because Janna in League is two ends, so I assume it's just meant to be Janna. Anyway, off we go. Because now, 
Now we have some challenges to do. And when I say challenges, I mean not the good kind of challenges. So, actually no, I'll do the other one first. I'll do hockey first, because hockey is easier. I remember hockey being easier. Hey Spyro, you're a sports fan, aren't you? As you probably know, Frozen Altars is the birthplace of the great sport of cat hockey. Today's match is sold out, of course, but I just happen to have a spare ticket that I'll sell you for, say, a teensy weensy markup. Yeah, that yeah, that checks out. He's such a scalper. Head on in, Spyro. It should be a thrilling match. In fact, <laughs> I've even placed a little wager on the Rhinoc team. Let's just hope the local team doesn't have any last-minute accidents. Man, this, this man is a scalper who is also betting. This man is both a scalper and a match fixer, and he's still gonna lose. I challenged a Rhinoc to a traditional game of cat hockey, but I think I sprained my flipper during training. Would you mind taking my place? Don't worry, Errol. I, I got you. Great. It'll be fine. Freeze the cats and push them into my goal to score. I'm gonna be so bad at this. First one to score five ghouls wins. Okay. So if I... So I hit them into this school, right? Oh, no I do not. Okay. Hey. Okay, so this is reverse sports, basically. This is not how the normal thing would work. Also, I am outplaying myself here. I mean, I have nothing else. If I'm gonna lose to, if I'm gonna lose to anything, it might as well be, it might as well be myself or my own hubris. <laughs> I mean, let's be real. If you've seen me play anything before, uh, my hubris is uh, something that comes out a lot. It, it it does lead to me losing quite a staggering amount of games, really. Also, I'm losing by two points, but hey, that's entirely on me. Now, can, maybe... Can I please just do this? I mean, to be fair, in Spyro 2, there was also a minigame that required you... There was also a little challenge that required you to play hockey, and I wasn't very good at that either, but hey, you know what? It's time. It may be time to uh, just cheat to win. I say as I immediately completely mess up and just uh, find problems. But hey, you know what? This could be worse. It could be worse. Out of my way, Mr. Rhinoc. Because now, honestly, if I just freeze everything, I should be okay, right? Now. No, that, no, 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 no. I think I lose here. Yeah, I I stopped paying attention to what they're doing. Yeah, okay, I need to drive that one again. But hey, now, you know what? Now that I know, now that I know that I need to score into this ghoul, into my own ghoul, as opposed to the other ghoul, which is, you know, what I would have expected in literally any sport. I mean, to be fair, the game did say uh, to put them into hit into my ghoul, but... I don't know, that just seems so counterintuitive to, like, everything I've ever known about sports. I mean, realistically, sports aren't an area of expertise for me. I would be lying if I said it was. Us, but, I don't know. Okay, well, we aren't getting the perfect win. However, I think we have what could generously be called a lead here. No, 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 no. Hubris. Hubris, you aren't doing this to me today. Not today. Not now. Okay, that should be the game. Nice. Easy win. Well done. I think you deserve to keep the Champions Cup. Which is an egg. We have now rescued Ba Ba Ba. That's just a sheep. No, it's not. It's a it's a dragon. So is there a second game? You gave that Rhinox such a drubbing. He's retired from the sport for good. 
Damn, we- Damn, we actually- We actually ended this man's whole career. Okay, let's go and do another one of those challenges that, um, many people will probably remember as a Nightmare Monstrosity challenge that they hated. So, let's go play some boxing. <laughs> let's go do some Yeti boxing. Ah, Spyro. I've just received word from my little brother. He appears to be having some trouble with a Yeti. Wait, what's Bentley done? I thought he was a yay. Dumb Yeti took my ball. I told him to give it back or you kick his lousy butt, but he wouldn't listen. Okay, time to box. We're gonna fight the Yeti. Oh, I know you do it. Go and show him not to mess with us. Remember to block his eye punches and hit him low when he tries to block. Okay, block high, hit low. A big hookaroo. Okay. So. Uh. I need to do... Big hit! Got him! So much for Bentley will block low automatically. <laughs> also... Here's the thing, I don't know if you can actually lose this by decision. <laughs> but uh, if you can, I'm definitely not winning by decision here. <laughs> okay, you know what? Uh, first time, first time we take VL, I'll well, just to, uh, you know, first time we willingly take VL just to, uh, you know, show how it works. Okay, yeah, we're gonna, fu we're gonna punch out this Yeti. And I think I have to punch it out twice. Let me just double check. I think I have to punch it out twice. Oh, I, I, oh, I still have way more stuff to do in this level than I thought I did. Okay, let's go. Let's go punch out with Yeti. It probably helps if I remember what the controls are. <laughs> me, reads controls. Also me, instantly forgets them. Maybe if I just, if I just step, if I just take a couple of steps back and just go for a big punch. Punch each time, that might be the play. Because I don't think I can push him back. But also, simultaneously, remember when the game said Bentley will block low automatically, and he just doesn't? <laughs> okay, yeah. Not a fan of this one. I remember why everyone hates this one now. It controls really badly. <laughs> that and also, it's just a little inconsistent. Also, what is Bentley's reach? It's like... No, like... Mate, keep the day job. Keep the day job. Of, just like me at being entertaining, you're not gonna be winning any championships any soon, anytime soon. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. And... I need to... I need to block. Me playing a fighting game and not blocking. Like a, truly an iconic duo. Bam! Got him. Sit down. Dub. Easy. Easy. First try. Got him. <laughs> you really showed him. Hey, wait a minute. This isn't my ball. Okay, so we've now rescued Ally. Ally? I'm gonna go with Ally. So now we're gonna have to punch him out again. You should go back and kick his butt again. Make him give me my ball back. I mean, it's boxing. We aren't kicking. This time it'll be a three-round match. And when you win, don't let him send you off with a stupid egg. Hey, that egg is important. But no, this... So the first time it was for pride, I guess. This time it's also for pride, I guess. But you know what? I've, hit, I've already... You know what? I've already hit him with four big punches already. Can I lose my decision? I hope I can't, because if I, cause if I can lose by decision, I'm gonna lose by decision. I feel like it would be very standard for me to lose by decision. Then again, also just uh, <laughs> uh, imagine blocking. Couldn't be me. I mean, if you've seen any of the episodes of Arcade Assault, you know that me and blocking don't don't really see eye to eye. 
then again, also get me getting stuck in a corner and just losing. Also, uh, that's something that, uh, that, that does see eye to eye quite a bit, unfortunately. But hey, you know what? If nothing else, if nothing else, we're getting a reset, we're getting round two. And we land one last big punch at the end, okay. Only two more rounds to go. You're doing great. I'm really not. I'm losing pretty badly. Although, personally... Now, maybe this is just me, but personally, I was... Uh, for, like, I think, I think Bentley would be more of a grappler than a boxer, you know? Like, he seems like less a I'm gonna punch you type guy, and more, what if I just grabbed you and just did a power bomb? Like, I don't know. Like, boxing doesn't really seem like Bentley's thing, you know? He seems more like a wrestler. He seems more like a wrestler than a boxer. And this one may take a few attempts. Also, if it actually just did my inputs half the time, that'd be great. Like, do I? Like, is there? Like, I should probably do a. F like, I should look at getting a thing that's just like it just it just puts like what inputs I have on the screen because I am hitting X quite a bit and just punch it. Like, I am pressing the buttons and sometimes punches just aren't coming out. Like. Do my punches have cooldowns? <laughs> I mean, also at the same time. I probably should just block, but hey. On the plus side, I will say this is probably like the single worst bit of the game. Like this one challenge may be the worst thing in the entire game. Because it, it, like without, like if you haven't played it before, I struggle to I struggle to explain just how badly this section controls, which is which is a massive shame because it is the worst bit in an otherwise amazing game. Also, yeah, remember Bentley will block low automatically. <laughs> I don't think it's automatically blocked a single low. <laughs> like this hasn't blocked a single low for me when it's supposed to do it automatically. I mean, yeah, I'm not exactly pulling my weight on blocking high, but come on, game. Him. Him. At least mine requires manual input. <laughs> but yeah, so like, oh, he'll block all, he'll block low automatically. Well, he evidently won't, will he? Like, he, he, he ain't blocking. Also, like. I know that, I guess Bentley has a shorter reach than the Yeti. That's another issue. Like, this is not a fair matchup. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'll make a cut to when I eventually just win, because this is gonna take forever and it's not very fun. Like, this isn't a fun thing to play, so uh, I'll be right back.
is the last round. Finish him off. Okay, we're done here. That sucks. I'm never doing that again. Hey! This isn't my ball. It's just another stupid egg. Round three, I suppose. <laughs> but hey, we've rescued Rico or Rico. But hey, we did it. Are we done? I think we're done. Praise be, we're done. Okay, now I just have to go across some rooftops. This shouldn't take too long. I'll be honest, I hate that. I hate the Yeti boxing. It controls so badly. Like, it is a bad bit of an otherwise fantastic game. And fortunately for me, this is where I can just finish off the rest of the level. Because there's the rest of the gems, I believe. And I should be able to just hop up here... Now, I think I can walk along here. Yeah, I'll just hug the wall real quick. And there's the egg. We have now rescued Jasper, who is the final uh, little dragon for us to rescue in this level. And I am now missing a grand total of 35 gems. So clearly, I'm missing, like, something I can blow up somewhere. Or oh, something. Like... Okay, I will make a cut, and and I will be right back when I find it. Okay, so I found 15 of them. So that's 15 of them. Now I need to find the remaining 20. Be right back. Okay, I found them. They were just here, and I had completely ran past them. Okay, so with that, we have all 600 gems in the level, all the eggs, and we can head on out of Frozen Otters and never have to come back, because we've now dealt with the awful 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 terrible yeti boxing section and now there's only one or two bits in the entire game left that i'm worried about and actually hang on wait i forgot about a couple of them there's maybe four or five bits that i'm still worried about but hey we'll get to those when we get to those so i'm going to end off today's episode here as always feel free to leave a comment and click any buttons down below if you feel so inclined and i will hopefully see you all next time where we continue on with spyro 3 okay thanks for watching later